Hello friends. It's Sammy back with another episode of The Daily Dash. That's right, it's everything you need to know from around the world and in my life, straight from my car dashboard to yours. Today is Thursday, October 31st, 2019. Let me tell you what you need to know so you're in the know around the water cooler and in car line today. It's good to be back on the dash. I was gonna see if there's some filter or something we could put on because, oh, there's pumpkins. Hang on, because it is getting dark outside. Let's see, bear with me. No, not working. It's okay, well, well maybe it's working, I just don't see it. We'll just go with the regular. Okay, um, just found out that the US Figure Skating Championships will come to Nashville in 2022. Uh, the Nationals won their first ever World Series. I did not even know they used to be the Expos, who I used to work for, which is crazy town. Uh, what else is going on? It's Halloween is what's going on. That's the big news. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to, you know me, I'll put the news below. <laughs> if you missed any of it, you know where to find it. You can also find me at the Sammy Cone on Twitter and Instagram, all the places. I'm just happy to be back on the dash today. I'm home. I'm back in Nashville. It's officially the first time I've had to turn on the car while doing the daily dash for heat. It was snowing this morning when I left Chicago and it is pretty darn close here. It's been wet and like 36 degrees. Oh, a lot of cities are canceling Halloween due to the weather or postponing it, I should say, till Friday or Saturday. Crazy town. So it's good to be home. Thank you for all your prayers and thoughts and kind messages. Uh, we had a really special time in Chicago. And I think the thing I want to leave with you today is that you need to, I don't, you can't prepare yourself, but just, um, be aware of the in-between moments. That's what I want you to be thinking about today. So of course we went up to Chicago for a funeral, but more than the funeral, and it, I know it was really impactful to be there, um, but it was the in-between moments. It was the moments that we got to reconnect with people we hadn't seen in a long time. It was um, us going back. I told you that the, the Shiva was really busy on that first night, at, understandably so. But we felt like we didn't get to see everyone or really connect in the way we wanted to. And then as we were leaving, my other aunt and uncle and cousin were coming in. And th that was whose 90th birthday we were at last year in Chicago. And so we just really wanted to spend more time. So last night, not only did we get to go back um, for the second night of Shiva, there was a, a service that the rabbi held at their house that we, you know, got to witness. But then we went to my other aunt and uncle's house and my cousin and her husband came down. And so just getting to hear stories that I'd never heard before. And I think for me, just getting to connect with, all of these relatives as an adult I was always really when I was around them when my parents were married I was the littlest I was really little compared to everyone else and so getting to spend time with them as an adult and and just hear their point of view and glean from their wisdom and just laugh with them and remember things about my dad that I didn't know um, was really special and of course it was special for me to be with my mom as well and just have that one-on-one -on -one time that we really never get so yeah, I just want to just, I guess, ask you who who's on your heart right now? Who would really make a difference for you to connect with? And whether that's seeing them in person or sending a text or a phone call, an email, you know, um, you know, one of my relatives said, oh, we keep up with you on social media. And then some of them just say, I would just love an email every once in a while. I don't get on social media. So I think not only just the connection, but knowing how that connection is valuable to them, how, how are they most willing to receive your communication? So that's what I took away from that. I just want to pray awareness over each of you today. Um, again, we'll, we miss those special moments if we're rushing from point A to point B and don't always realize sometimes we have a calling in the in-between. And so I just pray that you would be aware to recognize that calling today. Okay, friends, I hope you stay warm. I pray you have a great day. Make sure you make it great and do not wait to tell someone you love how you feel about them. Bye friends.